brand new iPhone 15. All right, without further ado, let's open this thing right up. Put this right off. I'm actually really excited to finally have this phone and pull it out of the box. It's got this titanium vibe going on here. Pretty cool looking. So here it is coming out of the box, it looks nice, clean, brand new. And this is almost overwhelming to me because I've never had a phone with a camera that looks nearly this nice. This is the current iPhone that I have and it's nowhere near as nice looking or as premium looking. The real true secret reason why I decided to go with this phone is because Apple revealed that they are going to be making it compatible with 3D filming like this. You'll be able to take stereoscopic 3D photos and videos which can also be enjoyed on the Apple Vision Pro, but I'm most excited to view them directly on this 3D display of the Nubia Pad 3D and the Loom Pad 2. It's going to be so amazing to have crystal clear photos taken on this thing viewed in glasses free 3D. Of course I'm considering getting the Apple Vision Pro too, but this is just so much more immediate and accessible. You don't have to put anything on, you can just look directly at these tablet displays and see it in 3D. I'm going to take it out of here. It feels solid and nice and I like the color, this natural titanium. It's pretty cool. And the camera just looks sweet. So let's peel this thing off. Peel this off. There it is. Also in the box, it's pretty standard stuff, except this time the charger is USB-C. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to power it on and see how the startup process goes. All right, got pretty much the same startup screen as the MacBook that I recently did a unboxing of. Let's go with English, country, you can choose the size of the text and icons on the phone. I'll go with the default setting. And now there's a quick start thing. So if I bring my current phone, I can bring my current phone right next to it. And then it'll give this prompt where I can actually do a quick start. I'm going to hit continue. Let's see how quick this actually is. And now we have to do this positioning thing. So I position this image in the frame of my other phone. And now that I've done that, setting the language, got to enter the password of my old phone. It's going to have me set up my Face ID. So I'm going to do the Face ID setup right now and move the phone around to really capture everything to get it ready. That was very quick. Okay, Face ID is all set up. Now it's going to have me transfer data from my phone. You got to agree and it's working on transferring the data over. I don't know how long this data transfer process is going to take, but it's pretty cool that it allows you to just directly transfer data over just by holding your phone next to the other by your old original device. Okay, so finally the data transfer is all done. It's just telling me I can put this on silent mode. And this is just introducing the fancy new action button right here, and you can customize it. Let's just see what that says. Give a quick intro saying that you can mute stuff with it and do various different things. Welcome to the iPhone. Okay, let's move up. Good to go. So it looks like the iPhone is pretty much ready to use now. It just took a while to get everything migrated over from my other iPhone, maybe about an hour and a half. So it was quite a lengthy process. I had to stop the video in order to finish that up. But now that it's done, it looks kind of pretty much the same as my other iPhone, but I'm expecting it to be faster. And then the one thing, like I said, it's just the camera. Even without the 3D, this camera is a, it's just a huge leap beyond what I have in my iPhone 10. I'm gonna test it out right now, and then I'm gonna to try to convert a photo into 3D using the Nubia Pad 3D in a second. I'm just gonna take a quick selfie. This is recording in 3D in real time. I wanna take a photo with this iPhone, bring it over to this 3D display, and then convert it in real time into 3D and see how it turns out. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy, just take a picture of this tablet. I successfully transferred the photo from my brand new iPhone over to the Nubia Pad 3D and it only took a matter of seconds. And now to convert this into 3D, all I have to do is tap this 2D to 3D button and, and now we have it in 3D. 
quality I would say is top notch. It's such a clear photo and it looks awesome in 3D. Actually we can add more depth by doing this. So I'm going to make it pop way out of the screen and then adjust the focus a bit so that it looks a little bit more natural. Now it has even more depth. This photo almost looks like it was taken in 3D natively with this tablet. It's really an incredible 3D conversion. I mean the quality of the photo taken by the iPhone helps out a lot I think because it gives so much detail to work with. Now finally the selfie that I took the Nubia Pad 3D can't display in 3D when it's vertical, but it can still take vertical photos like this and convert them into 3D. And this is amazing. I increased the depth to the maximum amount and it looks so three-dimensional. It's insane, like popping way out of the screen. Wow, that's just incredible. This is the future that's coming. Not the iPhone itself, but this 3D future. And I'm a big Apple iPhone fan, but what I love more than Apple is just amazing technology. This Nubia Pad 3D is what I classify as a seriously incredible piece of tech. There's nothing else out there like it right now that has a 3D display like this that can do all these different things in such a comprehensive, seamless, and high quality way. What I've done here is not really what Apple is planning, which is to make 3D photos compatible with this. This has a 3D camera built in, but the feature is not released yet, technically. It's not available yet on the iPhone 15. But once it becomes available, you won't even need to do this conversion process I just did. It'll be able to take the photos in native stereoscopic 3D, calling it spatial 3D photos and videos, and then bring them right over to this. You won't have to convert anything with AI. It'll just be in 3D because you can take it natively on this camera. And this is the biggest reason why I upgraded to the iPhone 15 Pro. I'm so excited for that feature to release and to get my impressions and as soon as it does, I will be the first one to make a video on how that turns out and looks on glasses-free 3D displays like the Nubia Pad 3D and the Moon Pad 2. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.